To say that the RX model is important to the Lexus brand is a gross understatement. In fact, since its introduction in 1998, it has been the single best-selling model for the Japanese luxury brand. They've sold over 2.1 million units worldwide. You know, back in 2000, there were only five competitors and they had a 30% market share. That segment has grown into 16 competitors and today they still have a 15% market share. Another great fact about the RX is that along with the BMW 3 Series, it's the only other luxury model in America that sells consistently over 100,000 units a year. Now, as you can see, the new RX is edgier, sportier, and definitely targeting younger buyers. Under the hood of the RX 350, you'll find a familiar 3.5 liter V6, but it's been updated. In fact, it has more horsepower and torque. 295 horsepower and 267 pound-feet of torque. But the big news is that the six-speed automatic is gone, been replaced with an eight-speed automatic, so you're gonna get much better fuel economy. Even though the 2016 RX did not add a third row, they did add almost two inches of wheelbase and almost five inches of overall length. The result, more hip room, more leg room, and more headroom. The RX will be available in four trim levels. There's an RX 350, RX 350F Sport shown here, and you have two hybrid models, the RX 450 and RX 450F Sport. Now the F Sport will only account for about 10% of sales, but it should draw in younger buyers looking for something a little more aggressive. So the spindle grille is available on all the trim levels, but it's much more pronounced on the F Sport models. You can also get all wheel drive, which should account for over 50% of sales. Now, the spindle grille design has been a styling cue of Lexus models for the past three or four years, and this really kind of draws the brand together. What's neat about this model is they've taken this spindle grille design and applied it to the tailgate. A lot of changes in the back of the all-new RX, and this is the F-Sport, so you're going to get unique F-Sport badging. You're also going to get this unique F-Sport diffuser and, of course, unique exhaust. The taillights have been completely redesigned. These have LEDs in them. In fact, the European models get sequential turn signals. Looks great, a lot of fun, but we don't get that here in the US. Another new standard feature on all trim levels is a power liftgate, and some will even have remote, uh, basically hands-free power liftgate. You just hold your hand up to the Lexus badge and voila. F-Sport models receive 20-inch F-Sport unique wheels and cap with super chrome finish. You also get an active sound generator to give you a more sporty sound, along with adaptive variable suspension, aluminum trim pedals and footrest, and a black headliner. F-Sport models receive unique exterior and steering wheel badging, along with F-Sport gauges and F-Sport tuned suspension with front and rear performance dampers. Heated and ventilated F-Sport front seats with unique stitching and four-way power lumbar are standard, as well as paddle shifters and perforated heated steering and shift knob. Also new for the 2016 F-Sport model is the Sport Plus Drive Mode. The interior of the 2016 RX has been completely redesigned. You get a standard 8-inch infotainment screen on all trim levels, but if you get the navigation, you get a 12.3-inch monitor that's massive and has five presets. You have an all-new center stack. You also have this aluminum trim. There's also another trim that combines wood with aluminum. Very sexy. You have this new remote touch that's much better than the one in the RC and the NX. You have this neat little storage compartment. And, of course, you have F-Sport gauges in this model that are LFA-inspired as well as the steering wheel. Overall, very impressed with the way the new RX drives and how it feels. Let's start with the seats, because for me, that's one of the most important parts, and they did a great job with the seats. Very supportive, but also sporty and comfortable on longer drives. We drove a couple of hundred miles up here in Portland. By the way, it's no mistake that Lexus chose 
uh, Portland because this town is edgy, it's a little eclectic, a little bit weird, and I think they're trying to get more of that. While they love their image of being safe and reliable, they want to also adopt the image of being sportier and edgier and more stylish, and I think they've accomplished that. So I love what they've done here with the interior, but let's talk about driving more. Um, the new 8-speed transmission is great. It's not a ZF sporty transmission, but it's very close. Uh, Lexus has come a long way from their first eight-speed transmission that they had back in the ISF. Uh, this one works very well with this vehicle. Uh, they also went for that sporty driver with the F-Sport. This may only account for 10% of RX sales, but they've even added the ability to customize uh, a setting in your drive mode select. Now, it's kind of like that BMW M button. I'm not saying this is an X5M, but it's getting closer and closer to that kind of model, and uh, it seems to work for uh, Lexus. So. Uh, the S-Sport gauges as well, um, very interactive and uh, very LFA inspired as is the steering wheel. So everything to me works great. I like the interface, love the new 12.3 inch navigation screen and the programmable buttons. Um, just overall a, a great job. I really don't think this car has a lot of direct competitors. Uh, they mentioned vehicles like the MDX. Well, that's a seven passenger crossover. Also mentioned the X5 and the GLE, for example. And those are great cars, but they're bigger and more expensive. Uh, I really think that RX has managed to carve this niche out for itself and they have really uh, owned that type of buyer, but now they're trying to expand that with sportier models like this F-Sport. So what's the bottom line on the all new 2016 RX? Well, the question is, did they move the needle enough to bring in younger buyers and maintain their edge over all those competitors? I think the answer is absolutely yes. Lexus needed to get edgier. They needed to get sportier and they accomplished that mission. I recently helped a family member in her late 60s buy a luxury crossover. She really liked the old RX. I showed her the new one and she said, thanks, but no thanks. I want the old one. It's a little softer. It's a little curvier. This one is edgier and sportier. And that styling comes through on the inside as well. So I think job well done with Lexus RX. It may not win over a lot of X5 buyers, but it should maintain a lot of the existing RX buyers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm Ron Doran for The Driver's Seat.